everyone and welcome back to creative living i was out for about a week with this terrible toothache oh so i'm so happy that i have more ideas and projects i'm working on so i can show you guys because i've been missing y'all <laughs> so for this video i have this lovely super glam candle holder i love this thing i've been wanting to make this one specifically make this one for a long time but i couldn't figure out how to make it <laughs> So the other day I was sitting there and it came to me. So let me go ahead and show you how I made it. This project I'm using one of these storage containers with the lid from Dollar Tree. If I just use these containers and try to stand them up, you can clearly see they have this huge lean to them. And that's because of this lip that's on these containers. So if you use anything like this dipping cup that I got from Dollar Tree, you want to be sure to place it behind the lip and it will stand evenly. The next thing that I'm going to use is diamond wrap. And I just want to show you, if you just use a diamond wrap and wrap it around this clear container, you can see through it. Of course, it's clear. <laughs> so I was really wanting a lot more of a solid look. So I just take all my pieces, which is the two dipping cups and the container, and I go spray paint them white. I just want to show you the difference with the diamond wrap behind a solid color like white. It just, to me, I think it looks better. So I just wanted to take a moment to show you guys that and explain why. Next, using a small dab of glue, I'm going to go around all four corners of our lid and I'm just going to place that back on our container. And that's really all the glue that I need to hold this and secure this. It keeps it from being so messy and it's going to work just fine. The thing that I'm going to use is diamond wrap. I found this adhesive diamond wrap in the floral section of my Dollar Tree. I only have one full sheet left, but I'm going to go around and see how it fits and cut out the part that I need. And I'm just going to wrap it around the container. And I have some other pieces left over from some other projects. So I'm just going to use the pieces that I have and line those up the best that I can. But this would actually be perfect with two sheets of the diamond wrap adhesive. And unfortunately, I don't always find this adhesive. Um, I seen some that was a teal color and finding that silver is hard. So every time I do go to Dollar Tree and they have it, I always stock up on it. But they do normally have the diamond wrap on the spool. So you could glue this down. It would just take a little bit longer um, to line up your diamonds all the way around it. That's one reason I just love, love, love this adhesive. If your Dollar Tree doesn't have this adhesive, I would try some Mod Podge and just brush the back of the diamond wrap and apply it and just let it sit and dry. I just take a minute and look at it and make sure everything is lined up and it is. So I'm ready to move on to my next step. And I called them dipping cups earlier, but the name of these are mini rounds. And it's little dessert cups, and they're in the wedding section of Dollar Tree. I really love the quality of this. The plastic is really, really thick. And so all I'm doing is I'm wanting to just kind of put a little angle on this and kind of give it a design. So I just start at the bottom and just kind of go up and over and I do both sides that way and I put a little glue in the front to kind of start it and then again midway and on the end I snip that off and then I do the other side the exact same way. I was actually going to paint these little cups silver instead but I'm really glad that I didn't. I think that the design looks good and the white kind of breaks up some of the silver. After I finish my two cups with the diamond wrap then i'm ready to put my candle holder together i'm going to be going around the rim of one of these cups and centering this in on one of those square mirrors from the dollar tree 
If your Dollar Tree doesn't have these, then you could also use coasters and paint them silver. I apply glue to the bottom of the bowl and place it on the top of my base. The same thing for the bottom one. I put glue on the bottom of the bowl facing upside down and apply the bottom of my base. You could leave it like this or set it on top of another square mirror. Alright y'all, so that's it and it was very easy to do and I really want to thank you so, so much for watching and if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more if you like to. If you are subscribed, I cannot thank you enough. Y'all are just, just mm, such a blessing to me in my life. Thank you. So that's it and I have so many more so many more ideas i've been sitting on the couch for a week <laughs> so i've got a lot of ideas to show you guys so i'm gonna see you guys super 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 soon i love you bye this quote comes from linda berlanga and her says creativity comes from within and all imagination is possible that is so beautiful thank you so much for sharing and if you know of a quote that has inspired you and would like to share it, just leave it with us in the comments.